Mr. Transformer 96 here with another uh, update to my review of the DC Multiverse from the One Roman movie line uh, Collect and Connect Ares figures. So yeah, so basically I did just get the exclusive One Roman figure that comes with an extra piece for Ares. It's not one that's necessary in completing him, but it is an extra accessory. That's, uh, that's what they did. If you wanted just the Ares figure, it still comes with a sword. You need to buy the four main figures of the wave, and then there are two more exclusive figures to Toys R Us that include extra accessories. There's this Wonder Woman, which again includes the uh, shield, which we'll be talking about in this video, and then there's also another Wonder Woman character, can't remember her name, but she's another Amazon, and uh, she comes with two airy swords that are kind of like powered up, where there's like um, uh, a, a um, flame or power effect that's like swirling the blade, which looks pretty cool. Those, you know, I don't like need them, but I wouldn't mind having them. I will also say that um, I, at the time of filming this, I have not seen the movie yet. I, uh, I am actually going to see the movie in a few hours. I'm incredibly stoked, especially from what I've been hearing as far as um, uh, uh, the reviews are concerned. I haven't listened much, but it, it has... Uh, everybody says it's great, so I'm very excited for it. Um, but I have heard from somebody that the that uh, this figure does not really properly represent Ares in the movie. So, um, again, I haven't seen this movie, so I can't necessarily talk about the accuracy of, uh, of this figure and particularly of this uh, shield. Um, but I can just talk about it from what I think without having completely seen him yet. First of all, even if Ares doesn't actually look you know, super like this. Uh, I really do love the look of this figure, so I do still very much like it. Even if it's not quite accurate, I'm still glad I do have it. I'm hoping that it is accurate in the movie, though, because I really do love this design. I think it's very cool. But the shield, let's get on to the actual new um, part of this figure, is the shield. The shield I really love. Uh, this was something that uh, they had him on display with at New York Toy Fair, and um, I thought that it looked so cool. Uh, again, this figure is so different from any other figure in the actual wave, as far as the detail in the paintwork is so nice on this figure, and that very much extends to his shield here. Um, the paintwork on this shield looks quite incredible. As you can see, first of all, just the detail is tremendous. You have a ton of, uh, of intricate details, um, little bolts throughout it. You have a really nice kind of like sun effect in the center, which I think looks very cool. And then the just shape of the shield itself is rounded. However, it does have a big break right here, and it has like these little pieces that kind of... Um, uh, uh, that kind of swirl around it. I really hope he throws this in the movie and watch it swirl like that, like a blade. That would be super cool. I'm not quite sure what this is for. The only thing I can think of is like maybe when he's holding the shield up, he can kind of put the, um, uh, the sword like through this area. I don't know if that was like a thing back when, uh, to kind of have it where you could like guard your face but still have the sword be, um, uh, be close to the enemy, something like that. I'm not quite sure. That's just my speculation. So I'm not 100% sure what that's for, but that might be the case. And then as far as the paint's concerned, it is silver. Uh, it's like a really dark silver actually is the base and then it has a a, um, a light silver kind of bright silver wash through it and then it has a blue wash that kind of settles in most of the creases so uh, this is excellent I think that from a uh, sculpting standpoint it looks amazing and from a paint standpoint it's beautiful I love the paint and also it's a good size I think that's a solid shield size for Ares not too big not too small can't say the same thing about the shield that comes with uh, Wonder Woman however but uh, as far as Ares I mean, I think it looks pretty good. It's also very solid. I noticed that when, when taking uh, the Wonder Woman figure out, uh, I, both of the shields were much heavier than I expected. I thought that they'd be very hollow, um, but they're not. They, they're like solid pieces, uh, chunks chunks of um, plastic. So nice, solid shields, which is very cool. Uh, the back of the shield is not very sightly, unfortunately. It is as plain as can be. They really didn't sculpt anything, which is disappointing. These straps, uh, he can hold, as you can see, but they're very soft rubber. I wish that they were a bit harder than this because as you can see it's just kind of like wearing the uh, the strap down just from him holding it which I don't really like I could possibly see these uh, breaking in the future or something or just kind of like tearing basically um, I certainly hope they don't but as long as you don't display them like this and you just display them like this the shield looks beautiful so I really do love this accessory uh, I think that the other blade uh, sword accessories that come with the other exclusive figure they're they're not necessary from you know what I uh, uh, in my opinion they're not necessary especially since you get a blade already in the normal wave. 
But the shield, um, if you want to save money, you know, you certainly don't need it because you can build him without the shield and he'll still have an accessory. However, I think that the shield is a huge draw. Uh, I, I would recommend buying this one specifically for the shield. And you do get a classic Wonder Woman uh, with this uh, set. So I wanted the figure itself because I didn't have a classic Wonder Woman. And then the shield, I really wanted as well. So I really do like the shield accessory. I think it looks great. And it really uh, fits in with the tremendous... Um, detail and especially paintwork on this Ares figure in general, the shield definitely carries that over. I'm incredibly excited to see Ares in the movie tonight. I cannot wait. Um, I'm filming this on Thursday. I might post it on Friday though, but cannot wait to see uh, him in action and can't wait to see uh, him wield the shield in the movie. So let me know what you guys think of this shield accessory and you can also uh, check out my Ares review if you'd like. It will be at uh, the end right here. Thanks so much for watching.